Hi kids! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang properties of parallelogram at kung paano ba ito ginagamit sa pag-solve ng problems involving parallelograms. There are 5 general properties of parallelogram and let's get right into it. Number 1, opposite sides are congruent. Consider this parallelogram. Pag sinabi natin opposite, iyon yung magkatapat na sides. So, kung ito ay 7 units, yung katapat niya ay also 7 units. Kung ito ay 12 units, itong medyo mahabang ito, ang katapat niya na side na iyon ay 12 units din. Okay? So, that's property number 1. Property number 2, opposite angles are congruent. Okay? So, kung ito ay 50 degrees, yung katapat niya na angle ay 50 degrees. Kung ito ay 130 degrees, ang katapat niya na angle ay 130 degrees. Next, consecutive angles are supplementary. Pag sinabi natin consecutive angles, ito yung magkasunod na angles. For example, let's say this is 40 degrees. So, meron tayong dalawang angles na kasunod niya. Pwedeng ito, okay, itong angle na ito, or ito. So, dahil... Sinabi na consecutive angles are supplementary. Pag sinabi natin supplementary, the sum is 180 degrees. So, kung ito'y 40 degrees, yung kasunod niya is 140 degrees. Okay? Kung ito rin ah, ay 140 degrees para maging supplementary silang dalawa. So, applying property number 2 here, ang katapat niya na angle ay iyon. So, this is 40 degrees. Fourth property, diagonals bisect each other. Pag sinabi natin bisect, hinati into two congruent parts. Consider this parallelogram, itong dalawa ang kanyang diagonals. Dito sa point of intersection sila naghati sa isa't isa. So kung ito ay 4 units, itong kasama niya ay 4 units din. Kung ito ay 10 units, ito rin ay 10 units. So kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung mga segments na kahati ng diagonals. Yan, so, dinibide nila ang kanila ang isa't isa into two congruent parts. Next, property number 5, a diagonal divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So, itong diagonal doon na ito ay hinati yung dalawang triangles into congruent parts or congruent triangles. Let's say the area of a parallelogram is 140 square units. Anong area nung isang triangle na ito at saka yung isa. Siyempre, hatiin natin sila sa dalawa kasi nga congruent parts sila. So, ito ay tig sa 70 square units. Ito rin ay 70 square units. Let us now apply the properties of parallelogram and solve problems involving it. Example number 1. In parallelogram MATH, MA is equal to 2X minus 4, AT equals 2X minus 1, and TH is equal to X plus 4. What is the perimeter of MATH? Para mas clear nating makita yung problem or ma-visualize yung problem, i-draw muna natin yung figure. So mag-drawing tayo ng parallelogram MATH. Sa paglalagay ng ating vertices, kailangan consecutive yung ating given na letter. So MATH, hindi pwedeng M-A-T-H. So let's say we have parallelogram MATH. Okay, so given ang MA na 2x minus 4, okay, yung side natin. Next, AT is equal to 2x minus 1, and TH is equal to x plus 4. So, ang tinatanong ay perimeter of MATH. Pag sinabi natin perimeter, that is the sum of all the sides. Ngayon, anong property ng parallelogram ang ating gagamitin para masolve muna yung value ng x? Dahil ang given ay sides, yan, may given na tatlong sides, gagamitin natin yung property number 1 wherein the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. Hindi tayo gagawa basta-basta ng equation at mag -e equate na lang tayo na kung anong gusto nating i-equate. Siyempre, ang equation na gagawin natin ay depende dun sa property na ating ginagamit. So, dahil ang gagamitin natin ay property number 1, tingin kayo ng opposite sides. We have the opposite side MA and TH. So, we have... The, the equation MA is equal to TH. Okay? Kasi nga, opposite sides are congruent. And then, substitute nyo yung given na measurement. So, 2X minus 4 is equal to X plus 4. Then, solve for X. 2X, lipat yung X, magiging minus X. And then, 
is equal to 4. Yung negative 4 dito ilipat magiging plus 4. So, 2x minus x is equal to x. Then, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Then, we have the value of x which is 8. Since may value na tayo ng x, ang kulang na lang ay substitute natin siya dun sa ating uh, given na measurement. So, ma is equal to 2x minus 4. Then, we have 2 times 8, the value of x minus 4 is equal to 16 minus 4 is equal to 12 units. So, ibig sabihin yung MA natin ay 12. Isosolve pa ba natin ito? Siyempre, hindi na dahil opposite sides are congruent. So, 12 pa rin ito. And then, 2x minus 1 na lang isosolve natin. So, 80 is equal to 2x minus 1 is equal to 2 times 8. Minus 1 is equal to 16 minus 1 equals 15. So, 15 ito, syempre ang ka-opposite niya ay 15 din. Therefore, the perimeter is equal to uh, 15 times 2, kasi dalawa sila, plus 12 times 2 is equal to 30, plus 24 is equal to 54 units. Let's have example number 2. ABCD is a parallelogram with diagonals meeting at O. If AO is equal to x plus 1 and AC is equal to 3x minus 9, find the length of OC. So, first, let us draw the figure. Okay, and then we have A, B, C, D with diagonals B, D, and AC meeting at O. And then, indicate natin yung measurement. If AO is equal to x plus 1, this one, okay, the part of the diagonal, and then AC is equal to 3x minus 9, yung whole diagonal, which is AC is equal to 3x minus 9, again, ito yung kabuuan ng diagonal. So, find the length of OC, itong length na itong hinahanap natin. Okay, so anong gagamitin nating property? Given dyan ay ang diagonal. Siyempre, gagamitin natin yung property number 4, diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So, ang magkapareho ng sukat dyan ay ang AO at saka yung OC. Kaso, ang given ay ang length ng AC. Gagawa tayo ng equation base sa relationship ng AO at saka AC. So, alam naman natin na kapag pinagsama natin ang AO at saka OC, ay equal sa AC. Since wala yung OC natin, dodoblihin lang natin yung AO natin dahil equal sila ng measurement. So, twice the length of AO is equal to the length of diagonal AC. Okay, and then isubstitute natin. So, 2 times the quantity x plus 1 is equal to AC which is 3x minus 9. By distributive property, 2x plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 9. Lipat natin yung 3x dito sa left side. So, 2x minus 3x is equal to negative 9. Lipat yung plus 2, so minus 2 siya. Then, 2x minus 3x is equal to negative x. Negative 9 minus 2 is equal to negative 11. And then, may negative dito. So, divide both sides by negative 1. So, x is equal to 11. Ngayon, may value na tayo ng x. Ngayon, ano ang ating hinahanap? The length of OC. Saan natin siya ipapalit? So, dito sa x plus 1, which is the length of AO. AO is equal to x plus 1. And uh, x is equal to 11. 11 plus 1 is equal to 12. So, the length of AO is 12. Ibig sabihin yan, ang length din ng OC ay 12. So, therefore, the length of OC is equal to 12 units. Example number 3. Given parallelogram, tiny with angle T is equal to x plus 42 degrees and angle N is equal to 3x minus 40 degrees. Find angle T. Drawing ulit natin yung figure. So, we have parallelogram T-I-N-Y. So, T-I-N-Y and indicate the given measurement. Angle T is x plus 42. And then, angle N is 3x minus 40. So, given dito yung T at saka N, angle T and angle N, which are opposite angles. Dahil dyan, gagamitin natin ang property number 2, wherein opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. So, we have angle T is equal to angle N. So, congruent yung dalawa, i-equate lang natin yung dalawang given. X plus 42 is equal to 3X 
minus 40. Then solve for x na. x, lipat yung 3x. So minus 3x is equal to negative 40. Yung 42 lipat natin, minus 42. Then x minus 3x is equal to negative 2x. Negative 40 minus 42 is equal to negative 82. Divide both sides by negative 2. x is equal to 41. Since we have x is equal to 41, para makuha natin yung angle T na hinahanap natin dito, substitute lang natin yung x is equal to 41. So, angle T is equal to x plus 42 is equal to 41, the value of x, plus 42 is equal to 83 degrees. Ito yung measure ng angle T. Let's have the last example. In parallelogram TROY, if angle T is equal to x plus 3 degrees and angle R is equal to 2x plus 15 degrees, find angle O. In drawing muna natin ang figure. So we have parallelogram TROY. So angle T is equal to x plus 3 degrees at saka ang angle R natin ay 2x plus 15 Degrees. Ang given angles natin ay consecutive angles. So, therefore, gagamitin natin ang property number 3 wherein the, the consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Again, pag sinabi natin supplementary, ang sum nila ay 180 degrees. So, angle T plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees. Ito ang gagamitin nating equation. Then, substitute natin. Angle T is x plus 3 plus angle R is 2x plus 15 is equal to 180. Combine like terms, x plus 2x is equal to 3x, 3 plus 15 is equal to 18, then is equal to 180. 3x is equal to 180 minus 18, nilipat natin to. So 3x is equal to 180 minus 18 is equal to 160. 2. And then divide both sides by 3. X is equal to, so 162 divided by 3, 5, 1, 54. So X is equal to 54. And then, ang hinahanap daw ay yung angle O. Itong angle ang hinahanap, ibig sabihin kapareho siya ng measurement nitong angle T kasi opposite angle sila using property number 2. So itong hinahanapin natin, angle T is equal to x plus 3 is equal to 54 plus 3 is equal to 57 degrees. Therefore, angle O is also 57 degrees.